are some terms that I invented for myself to help myself memorize all these things. Um, and these will help also clarify when I show you how I memorize the Morse code. Um, so first of all, the inverse being um, describing the relationship between two codes, where in the position of two dots, you'll put a dash, and then vice versa, if yeah, one has a dash, then the inverse of it will have a dot in place. Uh, and then second of all, mirrored, meaning uh, if you'll draw a mirror in the middle, then you'll see that, oh yeah, they're kind of like mirror buddies of some sort, right? They're symmetrical, you can say they're flipped, so dot dot dash dot becomes dot dash dot dot. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, a shorter version, meaning if there's a bunch of dots or dashes, then I say, okay, uh, the shorter version of this for um, 4z is going to be this 3z in that there are fewer dots in this version. Of course, these get a little bl blurry when there's a um, there's more of a mix between the the dash and the dots, um, but this is just what helps me memorize, and you can always invent your terms, whatever helps you along. And then double meaning, if we count the dot as a zero and the dash as a one, then the double means that there are two ones um, instead of one, if that makes any sense. Yeah, again, as I said, you can always feel free to invent your own terms, but these just make the most sense in my head and you can definitely feel free to use them. A very important th thing to understand about memorizing Morse code is that everything comes by with practice. All the tricks I'm uh, teaching you today are only to help you, but um, everything comes with a lot of hard work, and I think personally the best way of refreshing and memorizing the Morse code will be just repeatedly um, start with a blank chart like this and filling everything in. And that's gonna help you memorize with the tricks, but um, again, as I said, hard work. That's always the key. So anyway, let's start. So as we know, we can always start with the easy ones as practice. E, that's going to be the dot, and T is going to be a dash. So these things are fairly straightforward, and I would just expect you to know it. Um, again, they're really not that hard to memorize. It's just two variations and that's kind of it. Anywho, let's go to the next level. So the twosies, we know A is dot dash, and then main. So M, that's going to be a dash dash. I is going to be a dot dot. If anything helps you remember, you can think of, oh, I have a little dot. So it's going to be you know, a lot of dots, uh, two dots here, and then the remaining is N. So here's what I'm talking about. I and M you can kind of memorize as inverses, and A and N also as inverses. Uh, what gets tricky is the part about the three Zs and the four Zs. So gob works, and uh, the remaining four Zs, and we can interlink a little more. So let's start with an easy trick of the SOS. I learned uh, what is SOS as a as a very young kid. So you know it's deep like dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 I call it dee 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 dot 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 dee 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 so we know that okay so S is gonna be three shorts so three dots and then O is gonna be three longs so uh, triple dash so those are um, two of the god works and then let's also talk about V because V uh, this is what one of my friends explained to me so I think it's in World War II or something, but um, for victory, you start with um, one of very uh, Beethoven's very famous works. Um, so it starts as a da 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 da. So think about V as in victory, and I'm pretty sure that was um, the beginning of Pathétique. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, um, so it's gonna be. Da, 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 short, 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 long. Okay. Anyway, so in this case, let's look at U. U is in front of V, and, you know, they are always kind of mixed up in terms of old languages, whatever. Um, for whatever reason, anyway, U is going to be the shorter version of V. So that's going to give you two dots and a dash. And then W, double U, so W is going to be... Um, the double of U, so it's one dot and two dashes. 
and that already gave us four out of the eight in God Works, the three Z's. Okay, um, and then let's talk about um, R and K. So those two will be inverses, and the reason that I remember them is because to me they look like little faces. So R is going to be dot dash dot, it's kind of a person closing its mouth being like, anyway, um, and K is its inverse, so it's going to be people squinting their eyes and, you know, doing a weird face, anyway, and you can also kind of memorize it by saying, okay, so K's got two long, I don't know, legs, so it's got two of those dashes, and R only has one long leg, so it's only got one long dash, and you can kind of distinguish between those two. Okay, um, is God works done? I think that's six out of the eight. Cool, and then let's leave them aside for now. Uh, we can start keep regularly looking at this. So B is dash dot dot dot, and I just kind of memorized this. Some of them you just have to memorize on their own. Um, and D is going to be a shorter version of B, though pretty heavy consonants, B, D. So it's a shorter version, so it's a dash dot dot. And then D and G are inverses, both of them are in the part of God words and they're the remaining two, so we can know that G is dash dash dot. There, voila. Um, so all the onesies, twosies, and threesies are done. And C, C is also kind of a thing just on its own. It is dash dot dash dot. It is just what it is, um, so just kind of memorize it. And then F, so F and L I'll talk about together. So F is dot dot dash dot, and L is its mirrored version, so it's dot dash dot dot. Anyway, um, you can kind of memorize them by saying, okay, there's three strokes in F, so the dash is going to be on the third position, and there's only two in L, so uh, the, the dash is going to be on the second position in L. These are all like really forced explanations. They're just helping you along, remembering, okay, F and L are a pair, and you can kind of go from there. And then H is going to be four dots. So hopefully that'll be pretty easy to remember. And then J is dot, dash, dash, dash. You can kind of memorize it by saying, okay, there's a dot on top, and then it's a long hook as the um, lowercase j. So that's kind of how I remember it. Um, P, P and X are pairs. So let's start with X. X is a pretty symmetrical letter, and you can kind of also see that its code is also pretty symmetrical. I just kind of think of these two as the two legs and this is the intersection. So there's X. And then P is the inverse of X. So P is dot dash dash dot. You can also kind of see it as a, I see two eyes and a little mustache of a little man. Um, anyway, and then Q and Y are inverses. Um, Q is dash dash dot dash. Kind of see it as a, this dot is the little leg that's kind of kicking out there. Um, and then Y is the mirrored version of Q. So it's dash dot dash dash there. And then Z is also kind of a loner. Um, it is just dash dash dot dot. So in this case, you can kind of um, shorten your memory. You don't have to force yourself to memorize all 26 of the letters. And with the links, that kind of gets you down to, I don't know, 20, 18 maybe? I didn't count. Anyway, but hopefully that's helpful. And again, as I said, um, the total memorization of the Morse code will come with a lot of practice. Just pull up blank sheets and quiz yourself on this, and then eventually you'll remember um, all of them. So hopefully that's helpful.